Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about Confessions of a Courtesan. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Hello, I have a venue story I wanted to share with you. Have you ever seen those annoying shouts in your chat box about a virtual nightclub giving away tons of gill? Want to know the real side of them? My name is Alfie, and now's your chance. Ooh, what an introduction. Let's go. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I have been working in the venue scene for about a year now. I started as a lowly gay male midi courtesan begging people to ERP with me. It was fun, but nothing compared to my experience at a venue called Tingle on Adamant Toys. Okay, these are not their real names. They're just made up names to cover the real places. So if someone out there is like, yo, where's Tingle? Where's Tingle? No, nah, that's just a... <laughs> it's such a cute bar name, Tingle. I remember I was looking for a new venue to work at. I heard Tingle was a cool place, so I went in and began chatting with the venue owner, Crimson. Crimson was a hot daddy Highlander, and I even thought about booking him for some one-on-one -on -one time myself. <laughs> Go, <laughs> okay, Opie, calm down. Alas, I didn't book him, but just asked if the venue was hiring. We talked for a bit, and then he gave me a thumbs up emote and said I was hired to start the following week. I was so excited. This will be my big break, I thought. <laughs> it's so adorable. I hung out at the venue for a while and made my way over to the gamba table. No one was there, so I sat down and the dealer asked me if I wanted to play blackjack. I was bored, so I said, sure, why not? I won a couple of hands, then this hot looking Vieira came over. His name was Big Spender. He sat next to me and we began chatting in tells. I thought he wanted me at first. Eventually, he got a blackjack and said, Get ready because drinks are coming our way. I received a virtual cocktail from the bartender and downed it in one gulp. My stats flew through the roof. <laughs> I love that line so much. My stats flew through the roof. After playing blackjack for a while longer, I decided to leave for the night. I couldn't help but think, Tingle is going to be the best thing that ever happened to me. Dude, I love the positivity in this person. Time passed and I continued my work as a gay dom midi courtesan at Tingle. I got booked regularly. One of my clients, a red-headed hottie, even kept coming back for more, and more, and more, and some more. I probably added an extra line there. <laughs> <laughs> we became great friends. I also found a boyfriend. He came looking for a hookup, but left saying, I love you. Okay, so he actually uh, ERP'd? With someone and they they left with i love you one day crimson came to me and said i have something i want to talk to you about uh-oh i was so nervous was i getting fired i thought did someone complain nah he wanted to tell me i was doing a great job then crimson offered me the role of courtesan manager i was so excited i really did make it my wage and status flew through the roof. <laughs> People knew who I was. I was the one everyone wanted to talk to. I felt so cool. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> We're winning. <laughs> yeah. Moving into management allowed me to work with one of my favorite people at the venue. This femro named Sweet Revenge. She ran such a tight ship. I wanted to be just like her. Sweet Revenge even became friends with Big Spender, the hot Viera I met the first night at Tingle. 
I was crushed he wasn't actually gay, but the endless supply of cat boys wanting to get plowed eased my pain. <laughs> okay, lots and lots of cat boys wanting to get plowed. <laughs> I found myself taking on more and more responsibility at Tingle along with sweet revenge. We were an awesome team until drama happened. Sweet Revenge had gone on a break to take care of some stuff IRL. I had just ERP'd with a subby cat boy, but wasn't really feeling the vibe. So I stopped the session and told him we were done. I like these like nicknames, subby, like submissive. Like I've never heard subby. Maybe because I'm just not in that scene at all, but this is so cute. I had just ERP'd with a subby cat boy, but wasn't really feeling the vibe. So I stopped the session and told him we were done. He was not happy. I ended up blocking him until I got a message from Crimson saying someone was spreading rumors about me. Oh God, I thought. Oh snap. Okay, so ERP'd with this cat boy. Wasn't feeling it, stopped. Cat boy. The cat boy got really offended and started spreading lies. Okay. Crimson told me he thought this was gross and that he had my back. He did have my back, or so I thought. A week went by and that mischievous Mikote was still yelling for anyone who would listen. Crimson, for some reason, would not ban him from the venue, and I was at my wit's end. So at 7 a.m. on Monday, I said to myself, To hell with this! and decided to quit Tingle. Why should I stress out over virtual money, I thought. Crimson was stunned, though accepted my resignation. The staff at Tingle were also stunned, and a mass resignation developed as soon as I told them the truth. Sweet Revenge even confronted Crimson. He tried to lie his way out of the discussion, but she got him good. Sweet Revenge resigned in a blaze of glory that sent the whole venue crashing and burning into the ground. She was my hero. I told her that standing up for me moved me so much that it brought me to tears. Tingle announced they were closing the same day. Crimson pulled the virtual rug out from under customers and staff with no advanced warning, and a lot of people were sad. To this day, people still talk about Tingle, though it seems that some new trauma comes out each time it is discussed. Crimson ended up quitting Final Fantasy XIV. Sweet Revenge married Big Spender, and I moved on to a new venue. Oh, that boyfriend I told you I made? He ended up cheating on me. Oh well. Oh, so, oh yeah, their boyfriend was that guy they ERP'd with and said, I love you. Okay. Oh, well, time to find someone new to say I love you after paying me to sex them. Now you know the true story of what working at these venues is like. Next time you think it's just dancing and loud music, know that you are very wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like when you go to a club. And you see like a bunch of people just dancing and stuff. Oh, you know, there's people like ERPing like there on the dance floor. Cause like, I, I remember just going with a couple of friends and at least people are kind of nice about it. Like I get a whisper and they're like, they chat you up a little bit. They're like, Hey, wh what are you doing? Or what are you up to? And then you say, Oh, you know, just like looking around and seeing what it's like. And then they say, Hey, do you like ERP by any chance? They just ask. And then I'm like, no, I don't actually do that. And then there, like I've, I've gotten messages like that. So I think they politely, most of the time they politely just ask. And if, if that's not your thing, they just move along and find someone else who is into it. So I, I totally know it's happening. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cute. They were such a positive person. He was getting rich in the game. He was loving it, loving the attention, became the manager. It's okay. There are plenty, plenty more venues out there. The courtesans probably bounce around trying different venues and meeting people, like meeting good people and some bad people here and there. I have nothing against people who ERP. If that's what they enjoy, yeah, go for it. 
Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg/patra.